what to include in your uh, PPT when you present your Viva. Remember, Viva Vosi is something that you need to defend yourself. That is why it is called Viva Vosi Defense. So, what to include exactly in the PowerPoint presentation that is PPT so that uh, the one moderators or the examiners will be impressed. Now, first, don't try to think of the exact questions the examiners will ask you and only prepare them and go. Then you will fail with five important things. This is in the first stage. Uh, they are what you have done in your thesis what you have done in your thesis you prepare one slide about what you have done in your thesis just uh, put it in a bulleted list some three or three to five bulleted list and try to explain them the examiner don't write the ex explanation there in the ppt you need to only use bulleted list and the rest of the explanation should be done by you so first one is what have you done exactly and the second thing to include in your viva ppt is why have you done it why here you can bring the past research link that past research to your research and tell why is your research is so relevant uh, in that way you need to make some three to five bulleted list this is another slide and that the third thing to include in your uh, viva ppt is how did you do it this is very 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 crucial slide because you must tell uh, how did you do it that is what kind of methodology what kind of experiment or what kind of uh, uh, field work that you have uh, done regarding this and how did you approach those uh, that type of methodology is what you need to prepare one slide with three to five bulleted list and the fourth what have you found what have you found which means here you must tell what that you have proved what is the thing you have derived what are the things you have observed you need to make sure here also bring some bulleted a list three to five and that is what comes into fourth slide and fifth what are the implications of this uh, with your uh, experiments with, with the evidence based research what is that in the future what is going to happen uh, what kind of uh, research the progress of progress will be done with your research what is the future about uh, that's what you need to prepare one slide this is all in the first stage of your uh, phd viva ppt now a PhD Viva YC is something that you need to prepare meticulously just don't take it so easily you need to prepare them with so much uh, uh, observation and a detailed thinking that's what in the first stage and what to include in the second stage now let us go into the second stage here you must tell all the important methodology what are the key points uh, how generalizable are your findings and how valid uh, for example you can tell like this i did a sector study so i thought about other sectors which someone else could examine with my framework and also you must like this you have to tell and you should uh, whether are your findings likely to be found in other research areas and you can give some examples about other uh, methodologies that others are using and what you are using and the third thing that you must uh, this is the second stage first stage why how when and all with some slides the second is little bit detailed methodology that you are going to explain and you refer that methodology with others method methodology and experiments this should be the other uh, some slides and the third third stage is what do you plan to do next 
now you have done something in in this thesis this is very very crucial question that examiners may want to know while defending your your uh, phd viva so what do you plan to do next with the thesis that you have done with all the three years of work what could be the next plan that is very very important and how do you plan to disseminate your work which means how do you take this work to another level in the future these questions are very very crucial questions that you may face uh, later so this is the third third stage third stage where you have to put up uh, some one or two slides what do you plan to do next and uh, how do you plan to disseminate your work in the future how how you can grow that work a little bit is what you are going to take this at uh, on another third stage another uh, slides and the fourth stage here you are you will prepare slides about what are your major contributions again you bullet point them you what are your major contributions means you might you might have written some research papers during your phd course or uh, you might have contributed through your thesis something that is really worth you need to prepare one side this is my major contribution you have to tell clearly and the fifth stage final stage here you will prepare a slide in phd viva ppt um, remember uh, this ppt is about uh, some bullet points about uh, like uh, the discussions took place like with your supervisor and uh, about your thoughts or with any other uh, eminent professors bring out some discussions that you made and uh, what uh, what are the things that influenced you you can finally explain and that is how you your ppt is very effective and fulfilled remember as i have told these five stages of ppt this doesn't mean they are so easy you need to work it out to, to bring this uh, these slides by sitting with your supervisor for uh, days maybe some two weeks or three weeks before even uh, preparing these slides so this is the basic outline like um, so remember at the end you need to have some characteristics while phd viva first thing is there are somebody to listen to you remember always this you are speaking something there's somebody to listen to so you, you have to say something there you can't be going there uh, in viva ppt and just be dumb there you need to speak something so whatever you speak second characteristics that you need to possess is you must have command you must have command of what you are speaking so so that others may evaluate the worth of what you have done okay so that is what you need to uh, show like uh, try to communicate and another quality that you must have is you must try to communicate results effectively professionally don't be like a child in the school doing conveying something no you must do it effectively professionally you have to communicate the results that you have found uh, so at the end don't be uh, egoistic or uh, like uh, don't defend uh, too much going against don't make it a debate so do it softly smoothly confidently that's what all about with all the points uh, that i have been sharing till now you can make an effective ppt presentation of ppt phd viva yc thank you so much for uh watching this video if there are some uh, phd students still uh attending phd viva voice kindly share this video and that will be helpful to others too and thank you so much